hello guys welcome back to my channel code heroes so today in this video we are going to make a basketball game which is very simple to code first of all you need to download the app called scratch you can find it on microsoft store or you can directly download it from web once you download it just simply sign in and then you should come with this ide next thing is that you have to go to the backdrop search here basketball this one uh, we are done with the backdrop then we need four sprites first we need paddle right? next thing we need is a basketball third thing is a line And the fourth thing is a button. Okay. Just drag this line down here. Drag this button up here. Bring paddle down here. And and bring this ball over here. Next thing is that go to button, go to costumes, click on arrow, and just drag this background and delete it. Then what you need to do is drag this a little bit and change its size to 25. You have to change the size according to your background and just select this paint over here. Select simple color and then make it white and just paste it. So you should drag, drag up it up. It will cover this portion. Okay. Yes. Okay. See, uh, we are done with this sprite. Now let's begin with the coding. Before we begin with the coding, make sure you like, share, comment this video, and subscribe to my channel. I have a Discord server. You can join that server too. So just go to event uh, just click this flag one uh, this means when the game is started we need our ball to reset its position to set x to 0 and set y to 150 minus 150 so this will command will bring our paddle back to its original position when the game restarts. Next thing is that go to control forever then if then. So when we press the uh, right key uh, left key then our paddle should move to uh, left. So we again are again going to go to motion and then change x by minus 10 again we go to control if then if we go to sensing again if right arrow is pressed we need our paddle go to right so let's check if it's working okay it's working so our paddle work is done now with the ball we need three paras we are going to do three paragraphs if you go to events when game is started again we need to reset the position of ball so if we go to motion set x to 0 and set y to even to minus 120 okay then control forever then if then so if the ball touches paddle the 
we need to turn our ball 210 degrees so turn the ball 210 degrees so if it just bounce from the paddle then we need to go it sideways okay then move 10 steps so that our ball go ahead it just do not stay in its position and then it touches the paddle wait for 0 0.5 seconds that's our first paragraph then the next paragraph we go to events over here and one more thing we have to make a variable and type it as score you can type it as score so this is our score so whenever our ball goes into this we need it to set a score means we need our ball to add up a score so at first we need to set our score to zero okay that's it then the third one again events when game is started we need our ball to point in direction of 30 degree so we can find it here it is point in direction 30 degree so you can change these values according to your wish one more thing I just noticed now that we should decrease the size of this ball like this size over the basket it should feel like it's going inside the basket okay. next thing move by, move 10 steps so the ball moves ahead it just do not stay in its position then if you go to control forever again if then uh, not the if then sorry we don't need and then right now again we go to motion and you know, select move 10 steps basically and if on edge bounce so if on edge bounce and move 10 steps again so our code with the basketball is done okay let's just see if it's working or not okay it's working it's bouncing on the ball everything is working fine next pose with the line when game is started again we need forever if then so if sensing okay. so if the ball basketball touches the line what we need is that everything should stop so we'll just add stop all and that's done with the line okay next is that so when flag is again goes with the button even when game is started then we go forever again if and then so and do sensing if the basketball touches this button what we need is that our variable should change by 1 and we want to wait 0 0.5 second again 0 0.5 seconds so I think our code is complete let's just test everything And try to get one score ball must go in the basket otherwise no score sorry guys it's my very well we have to change it by score and then it must must it must work fine Till then make sure you like share comment this video and subscribe to my channel 
the link of this code file is given in the description you can download this code from there and i have a discord server make sure you join that discord server too thanks for watching